You're good. All right. I will uh, call to order at 7.04 p.m. This is the Wednesday, July 8th, 2015 Finance Committee meeting. Agendas are available up front. On the agenda for tonight, we have uh, reserve fund transfers, Finance Committee reorganizations now that we're in a new fiscal year. Uh, now we need to just discuss our August meeting. We have other things on the agenda, but I, depending on how we're doing on time, we can bypass those. Uh, first order of business we have is reserve fund transfers. We have uh, Chief Pedrazzi of the Fire Department here for one for his department. Come on up, Chief. I'm doing well. How are you? Better if I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you upstairs, well, you can go upstairs afterwards. <laughs> can never escape town hall. Yeah. <clears throat> so you're looking for a reserve fund transfer for call overtime at the fire department, correct? Right. That was the. I mean, it's bottom line budget, and mm -hmm. that was the worst offender. So that's why I put that as a as the target. Uh, okay. Uh, so you're asking for $3,500. The current balance is $438.08. And we just have remaining bills. So this will be for the last payroll for the fiscal year? And uh, I made through the last payroll. It's for my remaining bills. Oh, for remaining my bills. last warrant Sorry. we put in today. Okay. Uh, have you been to the Board of Selectmen yet? For I'm this? going next week. You're going next week. Yep. I know there's an issue with our scheduling. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll just caution the committee that any uh, motions for approval should be pending board of selectmen approval. So yeah. um, it's dependent on that. Absolutely. Okay. Um, any questions? I have some backup here. I apologize. Yeah, I, I mean, the last time I came before you, anyone wants to look. Uh, I had everything figured out. What I had for bills mm -hmm. left, and what I had for vacation time, and uh, the payout yeah. towards the end of the year. And since then, I had a couple sick days, and I had some vacation time that uh, wasn't posted. The guys can carry over 48 hours of vacation time, and I always ask them to, you know, put up on the calendar by a certain date so I know what I have to pay out. Mm -hmm. And that didn't quite happen <laughs> with a couple of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and they're, they're only obligated to give me two weeks notice uh, okay. for, the, for the vacation. So, and you know, the calls that we've had this year have been extraordinary. The, We've had more calls this year than ever. Really? And yeah, I, I don't know why. Every year, we seem to increase, and I have. I You're know. the most popular fire department and EMT yeah. service I mean, in the area. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. You're doing something right, then. Yeah, well, we do a good job. There's no doubt yeah, about that. Right. It costs money to provide right. the service. We're busy today. Yeah, very. Extremely busy. Yeah. And there's never just one call. No, we had double ambulance calls three times today. Yep. Wow. Yeah, it is. It's just the way it is. It's just more, it's more routine. Probably afford another ambulance. <laughs> Might just well, pay for itself in no time. Well, the ambulance enterprise fund did very well this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Brian and I just did the final, got the final input, and we brought in $77,000 more than the year before. So, that I mean, indicates you've been busy. Yeah. I mean, it's out all the time, but it's bringing money in. How, um, just a, on the, the question on calls, how significant are you seeing the call increases like year over year? Do you, do you looked, track yeah. those? Yeah. Okay. The, the ambulance, <coughs> I just looked at half year and we're 10% ahead of where we were last year at this wow. time. It's just, it's crazy. It just keeps going up and up and up and up. And the fire calls, I think uh, we're linked into the police station better now, so I think we have a little better way of of tracking uh, those calls. So they seem like they jumped up a lot, but I don't really know if they really jumped up a lot of it or if it was, but they have, they have increased quite a bit too, but I don't know if it's a better record keeping. Okay. You could have one fire call that just blow your whole budget too. Well, yeah, I mean, we had that recycling fire at Devons that mm -hmm. we went through for a couple of days. Four we days? Just, yeah, I mean, we were up there for two days. It just, oh. it eats it up pretty fast at 50 bucks an hour, you know. And it does. Any other questions for the chief? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, if it wills the committee, I'll take a motion for approval. You want to try or you want me? You want the original Yeah, I'll take your um, I have two. 
Actually, one of them is over. Actually, this no, one's an original. I'm gonna, one I hold on, I'm going to ask you to hold on to that. I'll yeah. sign it after the board of selectmen. That's fine. Okay. Absolutely. That way, yeah. um, since it, our motion should be pending BOS approval. Right. Yep. Yeah. No okay. I feel like this is probably my first motion, so um, <laughs> I'd like to make a motion uh, to transfer thirty-five hundred dollars to fire department uh, account number zero one two two zero five one three one zero. Uh, Pending uh, Board of Selectmen approval. Second. That was well done, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Helps when you can read. <laughs> you the number? I got it. No. I got it well enough, I'm sure. Yeah, I can, it, it, I can make it. Uh, first and second, any further discussion? Uh, there being none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Nothing, it's unanimous. Thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. So, this pending BOS, um, yeah, I'll send it out to um, um, town administrator uh, tomorrow that we've approved it and uh, that I will come in and sign it as soon as they approve it. Okay. All right, thank you very much thank for your you time. Very much. Enjoy the meeting upstairs. And hopefully, it'll be better next year. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a better year than this year. <laughs> have a good night, Bob. See you later. Thank you. Good night. Um, I only have, I have one copy of the original here. Uh, next up on the agenda is the tree warden. Uh, so he's looking for $1,080.21. His present budget is $7.29. <clears throat> to pay the uh, June 2015 phone services and mileage. So we have some... That's a lot of mileage. There is some backup. So we do have invoices. So he invoices us for work that he does. Plus, he gets a stipend for being the tree warden himself. And we disseminated that two or three years ago, and it is actually more cost effective for him to do that. He does, actually, he does a lot of work, um, which normally he would have to call some, someone in, but he handles a lot of it himself. Uh, mileage doesn't look too bad. I think yeah, it's just including it because here. it's on the invoice. Okay, it wasn't yeah. just straight out mileage. Yeah. yeah, so it looks like a lot of his invoices. Here, you want to take a quick look? It, it appears it's four hours of mileage when it's actually four miles. He's yeah. got it in the hour column, but when you do the math, you see that it's it's not four hours, it's only four miles. What is the amount? Uh, 1,000. 80.21. 1,080. Yeah, the, I first looked at it and I said, this, you can't drive for four hours in air and get someplace. <laughs> Just a big circle. You just just a circle. Lot. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think you pulled over at some point, so I would ask you, what are you doing? But there was a lot of work by this Nelson Tree Company that he did have to supervise, and um, not any fault of the tree warden. Some things didn't go quite well. Okay. With Nelson, not with. Yeah. The, there were police details out there, too, but. Nelson pays for those, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I know Mr. Dixon is not here to answer any questions or anything that we feel we need additional information on. Any concerns about the request? I don't have any. I don't either. I mean, I, I certainly saw the Nelson trucks trade. a lot yeah. during those time frames. The invoices are all detailed, so <clears throat> I'm good with it. All right, if it wills the committee, I'll take a motion to approve. I'd like to make a motion to approve a reserve fund transfer of $1,080.21 to be transferred to the account, the tree warden account number He's elected, so. Yeah, we don't have to go. He doesn't have to worry about board selection. Um, any further discussion? Sorry, no. I lost my train of thought there for a moment. All those in favor say aye. 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 Three nothing, it's unanimous. That's it? No others? No, that was it. I had put the uh, placeholder just in case.
Excellent. So that's the last of your fund transfers. Uh, so now we move on to the second agenda item, Finance Committee Organization. Uh, so I did put in a request for reappointment with the moderator, which um, unfortunately he did give to me. I was sworn in yesterday. <laughs> I thought you said he didn't give to you. Uh, he, he did. Well, why are you sitting there? Gotcha. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cook Cummins has given his resignation, uh, which I forwarded to everyone yesterday. Mm -hmm. I never received it because he actually spelled FinCom wrong on the email. <laughs> and I believe uh, Mr. Musil will be leaving us probably within the month month and a half at the latest so uh, or he's so hoping he's hoping yes. will he be he's in hoping. attendance between now and the end of the month no Not actually this meet. is our only meeting oh, for the that's month. right point <clears throat> yeah so <coughs> excuse me so with that being said it's a new fiscal year uh, we always do reorganization of the committee um, so we have appointments to fill chairman vice chairman and clerk the um, Chairmanship, I'm willing to stay on if it's the desire of the committee. I can't do everything I've done over the last couple of years, but I'll give it my best shot. What would you specifically not want to have to do, shall we put it? Well, it's just it's a lot of emails. It's a, it's a lot of chatter in the background, and it's it's it goes through phases where it's actually hard to keep up with. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> that being said, I, I want to try and figure out that balance of how to make it work. And, and I think it's something that challenges the, the committee as a whole, and actually every committee and board in town, is how do you create something that requires people's time and workload where it balances with their everyday life that they're not afraid to give it a try. Um, but, I, you know, the, the biggest issue I had over the last year was the personnel board. Um, that was the biggest difficulty, obstacle, time oh, consumer. Oh, there's so many other yeah. <laughs> words I've used that are not safe for work, but uh, yes. <laughs> no, I mean, I understand And that should, that. that'll be coming to conclusion in the next, um, in the next month, month and a half. So, so uh, it, I, I don't know if anyone else is interested in the chairmanship. I would like to consider, you know, serving as chairman on this committee again, but I, right now I don't have the... The ability to pick up where you've left off you know I know it's not what you really want to do but I would I would certainly unless Marianne you want to pick up the ball and run with it I'd be happy to have you stay on as chairman however I would like you to let us know that you need to not do it anymore because you okay. reach a point where not you personally but we all as individuals yeah. where we can't say no and then it, it becomes a difficulty for ourselves and then we don't want to say no because we don't want to let other people down so i i say that to you that you have mm -hmm. to rely on us as well yeah you have to. yeah and i and i do appreciate i appreciate that um you know part of the other one of the reasons why i did request reappointment was to start transitioning yeah. whether it's um and i'll be honest my hope I don't say my hope, but my anticipation right now is I'll, I have probably one year left in me at the current pace. Um, I'm hoping to find that balance internally myself where I can say no to things. Uh, but within a year would be to either step down from the chairmanship while having the transition enough to you two that or whoever else comes on mm -hmm. that they can step up and there's more of a seamless transition. Um, and if I can get to that stage or maybe just find a balance, maybe I'll stay on the committee longer. But like right now, I'll be honest, it's a three year appointment, but I'm looking at it just, I'm just looking at the next 12 months, to be honest. And I'm just going to kind of partition it that way and, and approach it that way. So I uh, mean, I, I'm, I don't know about Marianne, but <clears throat> if, if you need something done, as chairman, yeah. there's no reason you can't ask me. And that is my biggest fault as an individual. I've I noticed take that this a past I take year, a yeah. lot in on, on myself, <laughs> and and, and we know, all do. Uh, well, I've been, you know, I've been through the committees of five. I've been through the committees of three. You've and, been through and, the committees of two. <laughs> yeah, and, and you get to a stage where, you know, and I think especially sitting as a chairman, it, you know, it's kind of like 
this is your baby. You know, it's, it's like easy your, to do it's it. It's your job. Well, it's your job to kind of keep this together. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have taken on so much is because it's like, all right, well, I don't want to overburden Marianne. She might, you know, she might be overwhelmed and she might leave. I don't want to overwhelm you. I know you have a lot going on with work and habitat and, and everything else. And um, Chris, I didn't think would be around this time. I would lean on him a lot more, but I didn't expect him to be here this <laughs> The minute you did, he probably would have had his closing, and know, that would have I been know, the I end know. of that. Um, but You'd have to pitch a yeah, tent so in your and I, and I know myself that that's an issue that I have to deal with and I have to work with it. And I'm trying to be very conscious that the next 12 months really has to be about some kind of a transition. And if it's transitioning, everything that we've accomplished as a committee that I've been in charge of or kind of doing a lot of the heavy lifting on and handing it off in a way that, you know, maybe it's not exactly the way I've been doing it, but just in a way that, you know, the next person or, or the committee just carries as a whole forward as, yeah. as, a, as the project. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a tough internal struggle to, to be reappointed because as miserable as I have been over the last year, it's also, I don't want to walk away and watch everything just unwind no, because it I unwinds like that. I get that. And over the last three months, I've seen as soon as you take your foot off the pedal, there the you know everything just kind of collapses in on itself. We had some other issues with your former job and stress there yeah. that was certainly playing That's hard hard on you. Yeah. yeah, and believe me, I understand that. Our that. job's not much better. Well, <laughs> I can't wait till mine's over. So you know, I appreciate all that. You've got a lot longer to go than I do, but I'm literally counting days. Literally, Good for you. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mary knows what that's like. Mm. So, um, so and it w but it won't be in a year. Mm -hmm. It'll be a little longer than a year. But no, you know, maybe things will work out better for you too. And I hope so. All right. So sorry. I apologize for the tangent. Um, so we need a chairman. I, like I said, I'm willing to stay on. Um, if Works it for me. Yep. We need a motion, please. I move that. Scott Hood remain as chairman of the FinCom for the current term, for current year, current year, sorry, not term, current year. Do I have a second? Second. I wasn't sure if you were hesitating because you wanted to throw <laughs> yeah. your hat in the ring. I think she was waiting for you to stop right. <laughs> You sure? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Yeah, it was Somehow that didn't sound very enthusiastic, but <laughs> it was a rough. It was a rough day at work today. But believe me, I get I that. Left down a bowl of cereal before I came, just so I had to. Um, all right, the vice chairman. Our vice chairman has uh, gone on to greener pastures. Your call. Do you want to go back to clerk or do you want to... I would love to be the vice chair. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, I would like to help with taking a more active role during the budget season Absolutely. with the Excel files and, and, yeah. and putting all that together because I think I can do that. You have it all built out, so it's just a matter yeah. of plugging in a lot of the stuff and kind of connecting all the pieces, so I'm, I'm happy to help with that. Okay. And I'm great. more than happy not to have to do it because I don't use Excel at all. Uh, I only use n words, not numbers. So. So, uh, any objections to Marianne? No, I'll okay. move that Marianne become the vice chairman. I need a motion, please. I move that Marianne become the vice chairman. I will second the motion. Oh, I gave it to Marianne, but that's all right. Uh, you can't, you can't motion or second for yourself. You can vote for yourself, but you can't motion or second for yourself. Oh, yeah, tell the Board of Selectmen that. <laughs> all those in favor say aye. 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 Um, can I vote for myself? You yes, of course. I vote for yes. myself. All right, that's true. You could also move to yourself, too. There's really no real, real rule. It's just, I think it's it's polite to let other people do that and professional to I would not be so egotistical about it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, I guess I, I know where I'm going to stand. At least, Do we have at anyone least for the clerkship, anyone? anyone? <laughs> at least for the time no. being. Mary, would you like to be our, our adjunct uh, clerk? I could probably do that. 
<laughs> yes, it, would, it wouldn't be the first time Mary's been. I'm trying to find somebody to get on your committee. Yeah, I really think we fun. all are. And that's an excellent, the clerkship is an actual, excellent position, I find, to really learn. Learn. And Scott, you told me, to learn yes. about yes. Yep. FinCom. And so when we get our fourth member, we can transition them in. Absolutely, absolutely. To yeah, doing definitely. it that way. <clears throat> I'd be more than happy. Brian did that when he was on. Yeah, I started as I think everybody does it some point because nobody um, wants It's a the learning job. experience of writing everything down. Yeah. And That's what I was told. And it's, it's, true. it's true. Yeah, it's you do true. learn because you can research yeah. things too if you don't right. quite. Yeah, and when you're sitting here in, in the meeting and you're new and all the verbiage gets thrown around and you're like, uh, <laughs> then you go back and you, and you start going it, through your notes because you, know, you, you have to think, think about, about You have to think about how to translate that into paper. That really helps you a lot. All right, so uh, Ms. Conley for clerk, do I have a motion? Make a motion to have Ms. Pauline Conley as the clerk <clears throat> on the Finance Committee for the following year, term, term, term? No, year. Well, year. Year, year, yeah. fiscal year. Ter term could get suggestive about a longer period of time. If you want it, I mean, it's yours. <laughs> I've, I've done such a miserable it's job of it the clerk. last few months that, you know, Done better than some clerks I've been with. Well, it, the budget budget clerk. things the budget things put me behind because that they're so busy to, to put together. You know what I mean? They are. Um, I will second. Uh, so we have first and second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Three nothing unanimous. Thank you. Uh, so then we come down to uh, committee appointments. And I guess you want to, you're willing to stay on personnel board till that's yes. Um, <clears throat> personnel board is first. I am asking to be reappointed to the personnel board because we are going to be reconvening in the next few weeks uh, to put the finishing touches on the study. Now, don't we simply, as a finance committee, designate a representative? No one else has to appoint you. Mm -hmm. No, I, I I was sworn in by the clerk for that though. Hmm. What when I was originally no, the, the, it's a yeah, it's a designation under the bylaw, but what it doesn't matter um, if you feel. <coughs> like oh, I, yeah, I mean, I'll, I will, I'll follow up with the clerk right just yeah. to see if I have to. The be The bylaw says we just send a representative. We went through that when we first created the personnel board, and mm -hmm. the representative was Ma, and nobody wanted me on. The no, board. It's so a I don't know the personnel board, and they didn't get to say boo. So and actually, it worked out really well because I got to learn. Me know Chief Frizzle really well, and he's yeah. an excellent teacher on personnel matters. It was good. his uh, master's personnel administration. Might not always agree with all of his viewpoints on That's it, okay. but he learned. He was a good teacher, so <clears throat> I move that. Well, we don't really need to move. Do it by motion. Something. You're still it. Okay. Well, I don't know. I would like a motion to be, because okay. I'm not sure where my term technically expired and I was reappointed. I had to get re-sworn uh, in for my next FinCom term, if that impacts it. I, I don't know. I'll move that. I'd Scott hate to get to town meeting for and call if we're If FinCom. we're all up in the air about the, the process, you know they're not going to know. Mm -hmm. But I, I will move that Scott remain as the personal personnel board representative from the Finance Committee. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, last one is capital planning. That's going to be tough. This is a tough one because of the time that they meet. Um, mm -hmm. If no one is available to do it now, we can leave it open. They I will not actually I was, start I think doing we should meetings. Uh, uh, so mm -hmm. it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Four or five in the afternoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Depending on the day of the week, I could make five o'clock without too, too much difficulty. Yeah, um, um, but I, I'll, um, so yeah, if no one has the time to make it, I certainly do not myself. Um, I know that um, Mr. Cook Commons is actually asking to be appointed as a citizen representative. Excellent, to capital, excellent. Capital planning, he has offered to come and uh, give us and any information us if for some reason no one can make the meetings. So we'll still Perfect. have, uh, we'll still have him as a, um, a tangent. And uh, see, he's offered the same thing for the school building committee. I was going to ask about that. He'll give us timely updates as needed if they're um, so. I'll ask him to come in probably 
September time frame. So will he be a citizen rep on the school building committee? Because I was going to suggest we designate him as our representative. I can ask about the Doesn't logistics matter. around that. Doesn't matter yeah. to me if he's going to be on anyway. Yeah. If he if he had not thought to do that or didn't want to stay on, I was going to ask if we could ask him to at least represent us until we had somebody because he, he might as well finish that project and out. That's what he it, wants. He wants to yeah, see absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll leave capital planning open for now. No problems. And you have time anyway because we don't start meeting until the fall. Right. Uh, so which is on. which isn't so. too far away. Well, I know. Unfortunately. Summer's already over, didn't you know that? No. I heard that. I refuse. What, what, July comes, summer's over. Hey, it's getting dark every night by a few more minutes and it's not making me happy. I look forward to December 23rd already because that's when they start getting longer again. Okay, August meeting. <clears throat> Everybody pull out their phones and so somebody say So, looking at the thing. calendar, we're scheduled for the 12th. I am unavailable on that that night. Um, so my question is, do we want to just push it off towards our second scheduled meeting on the 26th? I will not be able to make Okay. Do, we the <laughs> do we want to do the 19th? Let's split, the split the difference at the 19th? I can do the week of the 19th. Okay, 19th works. When is Lisa going to have the books closed? I know she doesn't have to For do the them until the 15th, yeah. Um, board selected me next week, which is mm -hmm. the 15th, so she should have everything completely done. Month within a few weeks. I think she should just be waiting on the RFTs at this point. If there, if there is anything that needs to be done before the 19th for any reason, it, <coughs> is there a possibility that we could get together? RFTs have to be approved by July 30th? 10th. Oh, the July 10th. Yeah. Oh, I thought that... So oh, okay, we're okay. Done. Yeah, we're done with RFTs. All right, all right, all right. For some reason, I know when, or I thought That's not one year we did That's why I was freaking out about quorum. Oh, well, no. I wouldn't have done that to you, because um, I thought I thought there was it was until we had until the fifteenth to do the final books and then RFTs after that. No RFTs okay. have to be done before the books are finalized. Uh, if for some reason because we will have what's that like a seven week period between meetings, don't forget to come back. Please. <laughs> um, <laughs> I won't. I will. I'll reach out to everyone if there's any, anything that is urgent that we may need to meet on. And then on those meetings, it's it would be more flexible on the time and the date, etc. Okay. okay. Do we know what the balance is in the reserve fund that will be going back to general? Or at least will give us that, right? She'll give it to us. I'm trying to remember from she gave me one the last last May. I forgot to request one for tonight. I think it's in excess of a hundred thousand dollars. That's left over. I believe so. We don't have any. What did you start off with? Three? three? Is this a high year? I forget. I think so. One year. Yeah, it was three. I think it was three. Yeah. Plus 50 for legal in a separate. But we have no health insurance <clears throat> transfer this year, apparently. We have no vocational school tuition. That's we have no busing. Year. So that's good. Yeah. And no last minute lawsuits either. No, don't say that yet. The month isn't over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, nothing on old business yet. Uh, mail. Didn't have any mail. It was just the reserve fund. Excellent. Time. Sorry. Uh, minutes. We have two uh, meeting minutes we can do tonight if we want to um, get those off, or we can just set aside. Do the whole August. package and do them in August. That's entirely up to you guys. What's your consensus? Up to you. You haven't printed out, maybe you just I have two sets printed out. Let's do them. Um, Let's get them off. Make the list look a little bit better. Check it down a little bit. <laughs> two less than we have to do. There's, I did have, and the question still remains in here, and Scott, knowing you, you're going to know the answer. Which one? It's where the blank line is. <clears throat> uh, market. 75th percentile of market. Go ahead and write that in there. I knew you'd know. Super. Okay, then with that, 
Mm -hmm. So we um, actually we have to make sure three of all three of us are on those. Marianne meetings. was not here on the twenty eighth. So I mean, we actually, don't yeah, have we can approve it. Yeah, it has to be approved anyway. It so has to be fine. approved. Okay. So I will move that we approve the meeting minutes for January twenty eighth, two thousand fifteen. Which did include the summary of the uh, budget session we had that meeting. It was okay. the only one that wasn't a separate. Does, um, actually, Marion was not at that one, right? right? I will second then for approval. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone abstain, correct? Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. <coughs> I didn't okay. sign the data. We were on the February at the February eleventh meeting. Um, That's when I re recovered from the flu and my. You were late. <laughs> yeah, you were late, but you were here because um, John was able to confirm that. I just never made the change. Conjunctivitis is not fun. No. I, no. Had, I had that once. It was miserable. Um, and that was correct. So cross mm -hmm. out. Okay, so. You want to know what we talked about that night? A refresher. <laughs> the RFT for the town accountant, uh, DPW deficit spending, always a hot topic. We, we went over the omnibus for about the 14th time. I think that was the 17th. Okay. <laughs> um, did a couple of minutes. No committee updates except for personnel board, which is in here somewhere. I don't even remember where. Oh, the non-union compensation <clears throat> study. And was that, that was the, it. the dead horse that we brought up and just started beating again? Quote, not a perfect solution, but a step in the right direction. I keep thinking of this, and I, I have words I can't even articulate in the privacy of my own home about it. But we won't go there. <laughs> it's gotten better since that point. Um, will be presented to the Board of Selectmen and then scheduled for a public hearing. I had question marks in there. I don't know why. And that still has to be done in the public hearing and put mm -hmm. on the warrant, but we'll get that done. And that was the yeah. that was it. Was everyone present for that one? Everyone was present okay. for that. So I will move that we approve the February eleventh, two thousand fifteenth minutes. Second. First and the second, any further discussion? Being none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone else? You know, we are the only committee that signs them. Really? That began way back. So do we not need to? Minutes? No, we're supposed to be signed. We sign out the board. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. You know, there, there is not a requirement that the entire committee do it. It's, um... I'll have to ask it for. It's just a style. It's just a committee mm -hmm. style. It's not, not a requirement. The, um... Traditionally, it's not signed by the clerk once they're approved, but oh, Marion's not going to sign those. But it's not a requirement of any. No minutes have to be signed. Thank you. In fact, if you look at the selectmen's minutes, there are no signatures on ninety-nine percent of them. Except I think one year Frank came in and signed them all when he was no longer on. I remember that. All right, so moving on. So speaking of Frank, um, speaking upcoming of Frank. business. Uh, I would like to, so one of the things, th there's a couple of things that I feel were left undone um, at the end of the last fiscal year, which is another reason why I requested the appointment. One of those is the analysis of Devons. Um, it's been something that I, I've been talking about doing for a few years. and. Um, Mr. Maxson has called me at home a few times uh, to request that I, I do that, offering his help anywhere. So I would just want to put it on here. I would like um, just if there are any issues from the committee, if I start looking at that over the next few months, it will be, um, I want to try and take a more, I guess, cumulative look at the situation itself, talk, work with the assessor and get the tax information for the revenue side. 
um, reach out to each of the departments to see what kind of impact it would have on staffing services, et cetera, um, and try and come up with something. Not necessarily, I mean, there's not really like a deadline like we need it for fall town meeting, but just something, I th you know, and I think if we can at least get the ball rolling, it may actually pick up some momentum. So if there are any objections, uh, mm -hmm. please raise them now. No? Okay. Uh, the five-year budget model, um, that is still 90% done. <clears throat> so what I, I'm going to, would like to do over the next couple months is to have a meeting um, with the town account, the town administrator, representative of the Board of Selectmen, and um, you know, Marion, maybe if you want to start looking at some of the schedules, etc., you I'll include you in on that just to kind of review it and um, have a um, <coughs> excuse me, just kind of have a consensus or a methodology of how we want to budget the next five years out. So, just want to put that out there. Mm -hmm. That's an Excel project that I can read, but I can't put it's together. Built. It's built. Every time I try to do something on one of those things, you're a Mac user, right? I mean. Well, not at work. Not w I'm, I do PC stuff at work, but I, yeah, in Excel and whatever the Mac <coughs> program is, do not play nice together at all. But we get these Excel spreadsheets at work too that show us what things need to be done and so on and so forth. And I'm always messing it up. Thankfully, they come in read only, so you know the only copy I'm messing up is mine. But, I mean, we have to keep track of our trials on an Excel spreadsheet. Half the time I can't even find mine, let alone. <laughs> All right, uh, committee updates. Uh, I'm told it's very easy to use, and a lot of people love it. So maybe I can get a lesson. Uh, school building capital, we don't have anything uh, for that. Uh, my updates, personnel board is going to reconvene in the next few weeks. We did receive a, I think it was a four page summary from the town administrator on the study. Uh, he has all the approval of the department heads for the job descriptions, which are really the big sticking point when we, uh, when we put it on the back burner. The personnel board anticipates, well, let me rephrase that. Myself, the town administrator, and I believe the um, chairman of the personnel board has the same. We should be able to bang everything out in like one extended session. Um, it may take two, depending on how much discussion, but we think we can, we can put all the dot the I's and cross the T's in that, that moment. If I say hopefully finalize the uh, plan mm -hmm. for town meeting? Uh, it'll be finalized, yeah, then yes, then we need to go through the, another the public hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then there's the, the formality stages that we have to put together. We'll need to figure out what the financial is, impact is also at that point in time. So at our September meet, September meetings, we may be looking for you know, identifying a funding source. And what is that thing called that I can't even can't even think of the name of? The, the thing. The report, the, the um, compensation. Compensation plan. study. I couldn't, couldn't think of the word compensation. It's been a long day. So that's all we have. Uh, Finance Committee Roundtable. Um, I'll open up to the members first. Mm -hmm. Okay, all I'll say is uh, when we get down to three, two aren't allowed to leave. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne, do you have anything? Oh, sorry, Marianne, do you have anything? Just, yeah, I always have something. Just one thing. I, I almost didn't ask for that reason. I, I know, I know that. You know, I'm, I've reached an age where I just don't take personal offense anymore. You know, just, I'm used to it. I like. Um, for the fall, if you could find out from the tax collector how much money is owed to us. Mm -hmm. We haven't had anything for a while. And, you know, I know that the last third or fourth quarters have closed, so I would think by the fall. I mean, it helps when you're planning budgets and knowing how much we're chasing do. after. That's, that's right. I will say I don't have an exact num number, but I will say this. I had a conversation with her about two, three months ago about that, and she said that the, um, the outstanding balances are cleaning up very well. 
simply being proactive and sending notices to people that they owe money has it has been very effective. But I will get that for you at some point this fall. This is, I mean, there's always some. I know we've, we've cleared some because some properties that are in tax money yeah. have been sold, and that's good for us. But I'd like by the fall, if you could just. Yeah, we, should, we should have an yeah, update on that before we start the budget. That's yeah, I, I think the, maybe for the August meeting, um, I had done it a couple years ago where we went down re reports we wanted to request from the certain departments and, and the frequency. Maybe I'll, I'll add that to the agenda going forward. Um, we can have that conversation. That's something we should be getting on a timely basis. Take care of it, Mary. Don't you worry. Take All care right. of my groupies. Right. Now there was something I was going to just suggest and it flew right out of my head. As I think I asked the Board of Selectmen probably for the fall to give us an update on the uh, open account so that we could find out what's going on with yeah, that. We should probably okay. take a look at and that if we, too. If things follow what you're reading in the papers is health insurance is going to skyrocket. Health insurance is going to uh, bankrupt us all. Mm -hmm. Where are we on the approval of the bylaw change for the appointment of the FinCom? Do you know if it's the town, town clerk has got that all yeah, resolved from the AG? Uh, we did receive okay. the that email that's enough. two weeks ago. Yeah. I think we got that. Yeah. I went through them real quick today, but I didn't see that one. It, it wasn't the, hey, it's done email. It was a forward from the town administrator, and you actually had to open the attachment and read it a couple no. of times. So doesn't work so well. well I guess we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all get a ton of junk email on the FinCom email address? No, I don't. I get gads of it. Really? Gads Talk to, talk to Cindy. She should be able to block some of it. No, the only thing that I've seen is that former FinCom members sometimes still have emails coming to them through the finance committee. Yeah, that shouldn't be happening. But no, I have gads and gads and gads of junk email. But I did, I've had this email address for a long time, so maybe I'm just... Mm. It's been around for a while. People pick up. But I mean, this is stuff that has nothing to do with the town of air. Mm. I think I'll find out if I can't just start to leave them. block them so that they're indefinitely blocked. You can't delete emails because there's copies of every email that comes into your inbox. We have the backup system right, in too. place. So, so I can just get rid of all of them. I, I mean, I have hundreds that. and hundreds and hundreds. If you, if you need a mass cleanup, email. you can. I don't delete I think any you can work. talk to Cindy. I think she'll do a mass cleanup for you of your inbox because <laughs> she has a different interface. It's a lot faster. So I reach out to her. Okay. Because I know, I think John ran out of uh, space. Just space. Yeah, last I did year. once, too. Talk, talk to Cindy. She's uh, great. Um, she'll definitely help you out. Uh, upcoming schedule, <clears throat> we agree August 19th. Um, I'll warn you, I actually have to go check with my wife. If I you don't really mean August, uh, August 22nd, right? August. Week of, what, am I in the wrong? Hold no, on. the 19th is the Wednesday. Oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah. It was on my calendar. Would you I'm like sure to meet on that Saturday? No, no, no I don't. I don't. I was in the wrong I, uh, I do have plans that week. Yes, the 19th, yes. 19th's good? Yes, okay. <clears throat> okay. And if there's nothing else, I'll take a motion to adjourn. You're on a roll. We have to make a motion to adjourn at 7.48 p.m. Second. I love the precision of the time. We tried it twice. All those in favor say aye. Aye.